Hey guys, so this is part 4 of the how to create your own chess set Fusion 360 tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a rook. Now, to begin with, always remember to set your document settings to inches. And now we're just going to start by creating a sketch on the XY plane. Create a line from the origin straight up. straight up that three inches and then we're just going to drag this to the side go f right here at the origin again create a horizontal line that is 0.75 inches long and now start from the origin and go 0.2 above and now create a line that is 0.6 inches long and then connect these two using a three point arc to do that you'll go into the arc and do this right here you can decide however you want for this example I am going to be making sure that it is exactly one square is that exactly one square away from this point right here and yeah so now I'm going to create go up by 0.2 inches again and create another line that is 0.6 inches long I am now going to create a three point arc between these two lines. Just a small little arc. Now, and now I'm going to start right here and go up by 0 0.04 inches and create a line with a length of 0.5 inches always make sure that it, it that all of your lines are at a 90 degree angle if you aren't sure then use the perpendicular constraint which is this thing right here and i'm just going to move these dimensioning lines out of the way now, um, create a line, another line, from the place where you began your 0.5 line, and go up 0.14 inches. Create another line that is 0.5 inches long, and now create a three-point arc. Now go up point. 3 inches, 0 0.03 inches, and create a line that is 0.45 inches long. And now do the exact same thing twice over. Just one more time. Here we go. All right, now and now connect these two lines using a three point arc. These two right here. Make sure it's just a light curve. And now, 
from this line right here, create a line that is 1.3 inches in length and going up. And now from right here, create a line that is a length of 0.22 inches and now create an arc connecting these two points let me just go in a little bit it is completely up to you on how you decide to design this. It doesn't complete, It doesn't affect the overall performance of the product. Now from this point right here, go up by 0 0.02 inches and create Create a line with a length of 0.5 inches. From this point, create a vertical line that is 0.22 inches. And then create a horizontal line that is 0.15 inches. Go down 0.18 inches. And go back. I made a mistake right here. This is supposed to be 32 inches. There you go. And now, right, we have this. Now we're going to use the revolve feature and revolve all of these sketches that we have made. And there you go. Now, from this revolution, we're now going to create a sketch again on the ZY plane start at the center right here create a two point rectangle with a width of 1.5 of a width of 0 0.05 inches and a length of 0.18 inches now finish the sketch and extrude this, change the extent, extent type to all, and click OK. Now go to create, and go to the pattern tab right here, go to the circular pattern, make sure that your object type is set to features, click on the extrusion you, had, you just made. The axis, if you go to origin and click on the Z axis, and make sure that the quantity is set to 15 and the compute type is set to optimized, then click OK. Now we're on the final stages of finishing this rook. Go to create and select the loft function and loft each of these separate components up to each other. Make sure that you do it with every component that isn't already that you didn't already attach to the other using the sketches earlier. This is because it's... Alright, now... Now it's time to flay and chamfer these, uh, this rock. Go to the front tab by clicking front on the queue. Go right to the top. On select, you're going to go to select priority and go to select edge priority. Now you're going to highlight over all of this 
and then click play. Now go back home and see you've selected all of these without uh, the actual headache. Now we're gonna f now for demonstration's sake, I'm gonna fillet this by 0 0.02 inches and. Now I'm going to go down here and do the same down here. You can play this however much you want. For a demonstration sake, I'm going to do 0.3 inches. Go down here and kind of just smooth everything out. Flay, how the flay function works is that it, it, it removes material from your, uh, from your original design, creating a more smooth and curved surface. On the other hand, how chamfer works is that it functions the exact same way as flay, because it uh, removes material from your original design, but instead of creating a smooth surface, it creates a sharp one, which can be useful in its own right, given the correct circumstances. It's all about just knowing when you need to use each tool. And there is no specific distance that I am filleting the uh, edges, it's simply whatever I, whatever just looks right to me. Now go home, go to display settings, visual style, shaded, and there you go, there. This right here is now your new rook. And please remember to like and subscribe. And don't forget to save your design.